So today's um, plan is to try and fit this dash camera into my car, uh, but by hiding as much of the cabling away as possible. Um, in the kit with this camera came this charging lead, which um, it plugs directly into the cigarette lighter. Absolutely horrible. Um, I don't want flying leads in the, uh, in the DC outlet. Um, I already use my only DC outlet to power my iPhone for navigation purposes. So what I've done instead is gone online, look for a direct wire kit, um, which looks a heck of a lot better. This is it here with a little charging unit in the middle. Um, and it also comes with this little fly lead, which uh, is a, a direct replacement for a fuse. Now inside the, uh, the cabin area of a car somewhere, there is uh, a fuse distribution box. In my case, it's actually underneath the uh, glove compartment. So that's the obvious place to try and run the wires back to, to pick up a power supply. So what you've got to do is decide on the starting point of where you want the camera, and the finishing point is where you're gonna pick up the power, and then try and trace a route where you can hide all the wiring. So let's uh, look at the uh, camera positions to start with. Three positions, um, you can either go into the center of the screen, just here, or to the right, which looks like this, or to the left, which looks like this. I've chosen to put my camera in the center of the screen, and um, this is gonna end up in a position somewhere like this, um, which is, just about to the right of my uh, rear view mirror. Um, doesn't obscure the view. It also means I'm going to aim to run the cabling right up to the head um, cover here and hide it away. So let's see how we get on. Okay, so my fuse um, box is underneath here. And if I uh, pull off a couple of little covers like this, uh, the carpet just comes away fairly easily underneath and there's a little uh, twist and down comes the fuse box there but that's quite inaccessible really so I'm going to go into the glove compartment and give myself uh, a lot more room. Uh, fairly easily done again you just need to uh, just change that over. We've got some torque screws uh, in the top. Two just either side here and here. And then we need to undo two, I think they're 10 mil bolts, which are just at the back over here. Here we are. And the final one is this one here. There we are. One glove box out. Got my normal seating position. I want it kind of there, I think. Yeah, that looks quite good. So, pull off the sticky. And I'm going to put it just about there. My plan is to tuck the cable underneath here all the way down, down to the A-frame. Um, now, there's quite good access. If I pull this back, I can actually get underneath the A-frame cover as well, coming down here. And then if we look right in the corner here, there's a little hole which will drop me in behind this dash. Um, and that should allow me to get into the fuse box, easy enough. So getting under, down this hole is proving a little bit on the, on the tricky side. There's a piece of metal in there, but I do know this cover runs all the way down. So what I'm gonna try and do is use a piece of string taped onto a screwdriver. Uh, to try and put in a, a, a draw uh, string to pull up the wire. If I just pull 
this rubber out of the way and I can get in behind the cover and then push down and I'm just going to feel inside at the same time and yep there she is there's the cable and there's the end of it here we are we got the first part done so now I've got enough cable I'm going to plug it into the camera like so and then start to feed the cable underneath I just need to leave just a little bit there we go underneath the head cover so feeding it down to the last little bit what I then need to do is to get it underneath here and then underneath this one and again a little bit more pulling and pushing let's just bring that yeah, it seems to be quite well tucked away at that point of course the next step is then to bring it down the a-frame here which is quite easily done just by pulling out and just work the cable all the way down so first thing was to connect the ground to this convenient bolt so using a, a multimeter you want to try and find um, ignition volts um, and probably the quick way is to leave the ignition off and just run down through the fuses and look for 12 volts if you find 12 volts that's bad news if you find zero volts then there's every chance that if you switch on the ignition the 12 volts will come back now i'm going to probe this slot here which because it's empty at the moment and um, let's just see what happens when we switch on the ignition and switch on perfect and there is a nice empty so I've got a nice empty uh, fuse holder which has ignition 12 volts sitting on it so I'm going to use that one so uh, with the uh, hard wire care I also got this this uh, replacement fuse holder as well and uh, you just need to crimp the end uh, onto it um, and you can use a pair of pliers or I have a crimping tool so I'm going to use that just firmly crimp it all the way down like so there we are so it's quite important uh, the fuse needs to go into the outer socket like that in order to power the cable and this needs to go on to the live terminal of the fuse holder now the live terminal is the outer uh, the outer part so the fuse holder has to go the fuse holder has to go into the fuse this way round otherwise the camera doesn't get any power and there we are the Garmin is up and working excellent stuff so there we are uh, one Garmin uh, Dashcam 55 fitted to the car, lost all the cable, now just going to put together the uh, glove box, um, but that's it, all finished. Um, if you enjoy these videos, then please subscribe to me. Thank you for all the comments as well. I really do appreciate the comments, whether they're good or bad, whatever. Anyway, all the best to the next one. Bye for now.